I think that's very sad for Hong Kong and very bad for the region. And uh, we look on with concern. We hope that Hong Kong will be able to overcome these problems. Uh, I don't see any easy way forward. Because the demonstrators, they say they have five major demands and not one can be compromised. But those are not demands which are meant to be a program to solve Hong Kong's problems. Those are demands which are intended to humiliate and bring down the government. And so they are in a very troubled situation now. Singapore's situation is quite different from Hong Kong's, but we should study closely what's happening in all these other places, including Hong Kong, and ask ourselves, can this deep social angst happen here? Can this social division befall us? And my answer is, yes, it can, if we are not careful. Singapore is not immune to the underlying divisive forces that are tearing at these other countries. We are exposed to the world. We are globalized more than them. We are vulnerable because we are smaller than them. If it happens to us, like this, what's happening elsewhere, we will suffer the same consequences as the other countries, only worse because we are that much more vulnerable. Confidence in Singapore will be destroyed, and I think Singapore will be finished.